this timing seems to be really painful probably on Twitter's part, as you say, amid the swirling chaos of limitations to certain numbers of tweets that you can see. Sarah, to that point, Twitter's response, Linda Yaccarina, we're going to dig into that later in the show, has been responding to all of this. But ultimately, what does 30 million look like in comparison to historical levels of growth? Well, it, it's, it's a big start for a new social media app. And I think the reason that it is getting so much enthusiasm is because it has that existing connection to the Instagram network. Now, that's also been a point of frustration for Threads users, people who don't use Instagram or who don't like their Instagram handle or haven't invested in that platform or have a different community there than they have on Twitter, they're not exactly excited to copy that over to a new app where they want to build a new identity. However, it has made it a lot easier for those key users, the, the celebrities, the public figures, the brands, th those that use uh, Instagram already for professional reasons, wanting to port over all of that influence to an app uh, without having to start from scratch. And, and that's really a, a big motivator. So if everyone else wants to follow those people in threads become <laughs> I, I think we're going to see those, those issues work out over time. But of course, Instagram is going to try to deal with some of the pain points as they can. JLo, Paris Hilton, many a funny post coming from them already, I'm sure, joyous for those that have been overseeing the launch, me like Sarah Fry. Thanks for that update. Meanwhile, let's just dive into the conversation, also perhaps some of the financial drivers that obviously follow success. Jasmine Enberg, I'm pleased to say, is right here in New York. She, of course, leads coverage of influencer marketing and social commerce and inside intelligence. You focus on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Let's focus on <coughs> threads first because, well, it looks like it's going well. What do you think is the monetization angle ultimately here for the investors that are listening to us? Because seen already Zuck post about monetization not coming immediately. Absolutely. Well, just to put this into perspective, I mean, 30 million users is an incredibly strong start. At Insider Intelligence, we're expecting Twitter to have about 56 million users in the U.S. by the end of 2023. So that just gives you some context for how many people Threads was able to um, have sign up just overnight. In terms of the monetization, monetization ads are Meta's bread and butter, and I would assume that any monetization strategy for Threads would include advertising. That said, I'm expecting that Meta will wait until Threads really reaches scale before they bring on any sort of monetization opportunities. Zach himself saying, look, mm -hmm. we want to get to a billion here. How quickly do you think they can scale to a billion? And is it really a, a, the area, the focus, the number you want to see? Well, I mean, Meta obviously has a scale, it has the resources, it, and it has the execution strategy to, to scale Threads. I do think, you know, the challenge will be in keeping up the momentum that we saw yesterday and that continued into this morning. You know, it is a new app and there are very few new, uh, new apps that are able to keep up that growth rate that um, Threads has seen already. And I also think that 